Welcome back to KMM Tech. Today we're going to do um, a Hubitat video. Uh, so I'm starting the journey of moving um, to the new home um, and setting up the smart home. So I've been in the new home for about seven weeks, eight weeks now maybe. Um, I'm going to start setting up the smart home. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a backup of the old smart home. Um, and then I'm going to do a wipe and I'm going to start from scratch. So I figured since I'm doing that today, I'll show you how to take a backup. We'll talk a little bit about backups today, and then um, I'll show you how to restore from a backup in case you ever need to do that. And then um, I'm going to do another wipe of the system. So, um, and then the next video, we'll start building stuff. We'll start adding some stuff and then some rules uh, based on that. And I'll show you how I do my setup. Um, and then we'll go from there. So uh, here we are at the Hubitat Elevation login screen. Um, so I'm going to go to settings and backup and restore. So they've changed the backup and restore quite a bit. So the first thing that you should notice is that there are several backups. These are stored locally on your Hubitat elevation. This is cool. However, the problem with this is that if your Hubitat does completely keel over and die, you've lost your backups. What this is good for is if you add um, a rule that somehow does something wonky to your Hubitat, you can go back and revert to a previous version. Now, if you read the notes about the backup, it says they're generated, they're generated automatically and stored in the hub for at least five days. Backups are generated, generated automatically overnight and whenever the hub reboots, okay? You'll have one routine backup store per day. We highly recommend that you create and download a backup before making changes to your system, adding a device, blah, 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 blah. If you want to restore from previous version, click here. So what that means, if you look at the platform version, that's the software that the, that the, the Hubitat is running currently. So you'll see that I have a backup from here for uh, 1.46, 1.46, 1.46, and I've got a backup from 1.116. So if I wanted to restore a backup from this version or, or earlier than this version, I'd have to click here. Um, I'll be honest with you, I am terrible about backing up my Hubitat. For a while, I was really good about it. I was doing it at least weekly, if not monthly, um, depending on how my setup was and what I've changed. Um, I got out of the habit of doing that, but I used to store them you know, and, and, and back them up to a cloud service in case something went down, I could revert to that so let's take a backup now so um like it says here i could reboot and it would create one locally what i want to do is i want to download a um a copy to my local computer so off of the hubitat so to do that i'm going to go down here where it says create new backup and download locally so i'm going to hit the download button and here we go it's going to ask me where i want to save it i'm going to save it um somewhere uh, obvious. Let's save it to my desktop folder. Let's do that. Um, and then you'll see that it's this LZF format. So we'll hit save. And that's it. Um, so I've downloaded that. Let's get back over there. And that's all I've, I had to do. So you'll, if you go down further, you'll see that there are settings. So there's a database cleanup and backup. That happens at 2.15 a.m. every day, and there's a backup schedule for daily. These are default settings. I did not change these, but you can go in and you can change the time, and you can change how frequently it backs up. All right, so that is that. Let's walk through um, how to do a restore. Um, I've Again, I've never done this, so we're going to go to where it says restore file. Oh, I have to hit the choose file button first. So I'm going to go to choose file. I saved it to my desktop. Here's the file. I'm going to hit open. And then I'll hit restore file. It says you sure want to restore the backup. The current database will be overridden. I'm going to hit OK. And depending on how long this sits here like this, I will um, cut through this or we'll sit through it. We'll see how long it takes. OK, so you can see that the hub is the Hubitat hub is um, rebooting. And we should be in back in. Let me put in, whoops, let me put in my username and password here. And we'll log in. And that it was as simple as that. 
Um, so that's that. Um, so now comes the scary part, which um, I am going to do a factory reset to my hub. So I have no idea where this is, so we're going to figure this out together. I'm going to assume it's in settings somewhere. Okay, so I did a little bit of um, research um, into this on the Hubitat forums. Bruce, who is one of the Hubitat um, elevation engineers, actually recommends not doing um, a hard reset unless you're, co you're contacting um, their support. I guess there might be other steps that are not part of this. Uh, I'm going to take their advice because I don't feel like dealing with support. Um, so instead of doing the full factory reset, what I'm going to do is what they call a soft reset. So to do a soft reset, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your hub's IP address. Um, and then after the, the end of the IP address, get rid of the slash that's there and type colon 8081. So this is basically connecting to the Hubitat on port 8081. And on that page, it gives you all of your hub's information, its serial number, its MAC address, its IP address. I didn't want to show all that on screen, so I took um, all of that out. Um, it then, um, there's a soft reset button. You push the soft reset button. It brings you to a page that looks like this. It asks for the MAC address of your Hubitat. You type that in, and then you get to this page. It says, do you really want a software reset? Um, so basically it says that you'll lose all your settings. However, existing Zigbee and Z-Wave devices will remain connected to your hub. Uh, I'm going to go in by hand and delete most of them. So um, that's fine. Um, and then it says type soft reset below to reset your hub. So I'm going to type soft reset and hit soft reset and then wait for the progress, the, the, the process to finish. So from here on out, um, the next video is going to be um, me setting up the bare bones hub um, after I've gone through and deleted the things. So it should be a basically a fresh install of Hubitat by the time I get done with today's stuff. And then we'll start adding devices, starting to add some rules. Um, one of the first things that I did with my Hubitat was I set up modes. So we'll talk about how I set up modes and what modes I use, why I use them, and things like that. So anyway, thank you for joining today. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask. Use the comment section below, and we'll see you next time. See ya.